Hi, Jamie here. Hope you're well, as well as running this YouTube channel and um, giving you lots of hopefully useful Gutenberg and WooCommerce tips and tricks. Uh, we also run a plugin business and also a WordPress training business. And as our plugin business has developed over the years, we've developed a number of uh, Gutenberg based plugins, of which WooBuilder Blocks is one of them. WooBuilder Blocks lets you customize the WooCommerce product page using the Gutenberg block editor. It's kind of one of our premium plugins so if you're at uh, this this post this sorry this video is just going to be about this plugin and what we've done to it recently so if, if you're not interested in customizing the WooCommerce product page then this video isn't for you stop now and come back and watch uh, another video when I'll be going back to more uh, broader broader topics probably but if you are interested in customizing the WooCommerce product page this is definitely for you and that's exactly what build, WooBuilder blocks enables you to do, go check it out at wooBuilderBlocks.com where I've built some examples of the type of product layouts you can build. You can see them here. And the, the idea is you can build really beautiful product layouts and you know you can really showcase your products. And the better the product layout, the more, the more sales you're gonna have because you can show your, your products in a really, really nice way. Here's an example. So this looks completely different to the normal WooCommerce product layout. And because we're using basically the block editor, to edit this product, there's no limit on the design. So you can design these in um, any way you like. We've built a whole bunch of blocks um, that enable you to reassemble the WooCommerce product page using the blocks that we built. So we built a, a product title block, an add to cart block, a short description block, and loads of other blocks. In fact, extra blocks that you wouldn't normally expect to see on the WooCommerce product page that are gonna help you um, increase your sales. So that's what WooBuilder we Blocks does. Uh, and here's an example of it of that one there. You can see this is just built using um, the WordPress block editor. So it's you know you can you can design this page however you like just using Gutenberg, which is really really cool. But we've we've made some big updates recently, and I haven't updated, um, I haven't done a video about these updates in a while. So I just wanted to bring everybody that's using this or contemplating using WooBuilder up to speed to show you some of the really cool features. So there's eight eight features, eight brand new features that I want to show you. I'm going to talk you through them one at a time, starting with what I think are probably the most exciting ones. Uh, so we'll start there and go through them. If you've got any questions as ever, stick them in the comments. Uh, we have a 14 day trial of WooBuilder Blocks, so if you do want to go and test it out, you can do that risk free as well. So here we go. We'll start with the first one. Number one, this is the sticky add to cart block and this product shows an example of it here. This is great if you're building a single page website or a single product website, a one page product website or, or just on a normal product page. But can you see at the top here we have this bar with our add to cart um, button on there and as I scroll down can you see how that's stuck to the top. So the idea is it makes it very easy for your customers to always see that option to they can't resist it. They can't resist clicking the add to, add to basket button. Uh, so there we go. Uh, and there's some options with this. It just comes as a block, but you can have it at the top and you can have it at the bottom. In fact, let me show you here. So it just comes as a block with WooBuilder blocks. I'm going to add it into my page here and it will just load in here. And then if I click on it, can you see over on the right here, I have some options so I can show it at the top or the bottom of the page. It won't actually affect where it shows when you're designing your page. It will just affect it when you actually click publish up here uh, whether you want it to show on scroll so you can hide it until people scroll which is quite nice uh, you can also change the background color of it here and you can also change the text color here as well um, so there we go there's the sticky add to cart block you see it changing there before our very eyes let's just go back to that demo of it there so I think it's a really cool block I've wanted to add it into WooBuilder blocks for ages and we finally got to do it um, recently moving on to the next one and this is kind of two combined actually, but it's the ability to add a background color, like you can see here, or gradient and also a background image, which I just think, again, can elevate your product pages just to the next level. So um, it's pretty simple to demo this one. You see over on the right here, we have, um, not in the block settings, but in the product settings here, we have this brand new settings panel where you can actually do all sorts of cool stuff like hide the header, hide the sidebar, and hide the footer, which I'm not actually talking about today, maybe I should be. Uh, but this is where you can actually ch change the background color, or you can set a background gradient here, or you can set a background image. So uh, this is an example of one with a background gradient. This is an example of one with a background image. And can you see the background image I've got here is this lovely sort of, this pattern background image. 
again, it just elevates the product page, just takes it to a whole different level. So I'm combining those two so that you can change the background color of the image page of the product page and you can add a background image. There we go. Right, this next new feature has been requested quite a bit and it's the ability to customize the text that goes into the add to cart button. So this is it. Can you see I've added the add to cart block here, which is a block with Woo Builder blocks. And over on the right here in the product panel, we have our normal Woo Builder settings, but now we have these new field up here where you can actually write your specific text and that will override the text that goes in here. You won't see this text when you're actually building your products, but when you view your products, you'll see that text in there. So, you know, I think this is great if you're like in this instance, we're, we're running an event or we've, we've got tickets to sell. You want the add to cart button text to be very specific to the thing that you're actually selling. There we go, can you see how it's just put my text in there? So there we go, that's the ability to customize the add to, add to cart text within your WooCommerce product pages. Moving swiftly along, we come to product tabs. We've added some really cool styles for your product tabs. This is an example of the accordion product tab style. And can you see we've got the product tabs. The This is just the normal WooCommerce product tabs, but now we've given you two different display options. This is the accordion option. Uh, but there is also an option, let me show you this, where you can actually display these horizontally because traditionally these are displayed vertically. Uh, but we've now added an option with Woo Builder blocks. Let me show you this in product tabs here in appearance. Can you see here we've got these new layouts? There's the default one, but we've got horizontal tabs as well. Let me show you this. This is quite cool. Just update the product page. Let's go and view it. And you'll see now the product tabs are arranged horizontally along here. So traditionally they're vertically and that's the default option still. But so there you go, there's two new brand new options to lay out your product tabs in the style of your choosing. I right, two more things to show you and they both kind of, uh, the settings are in the same place. So I'm gonna show the, you these in one go. The first one is you can now have custom out of stock messages. And this is an example here. Can you see on this product that I've created? I've actually got a custom message back in stock, um, in stock in September, which is a far more useful message to my customers than maybe just saying out of stock. And it's a very simple thing to um, do in Woo Builder Blocks. It's just a, it's just a field that we've added that so you can have a custom out of stock message per product. And can you see over here on the right? So make sure you click on the product tab. You've got block and product here, and you'll see there's just a place here where you can have a custom. Uh, out of stock text and you can also have um, a custom back order text as well. These also work on the um, product variations as well so they'll work for both um, simple products but also variable products. Uh, so let me just change this to back order available on back order as well just so you can see that working. I'll change that to on back order and you'll see that you can also have once that updates you can also have custom on back order text. There we go. So back order shipping in December. So, you know, far more useful for your customers. They're far more inclined to place a black back order if they see that sort of information. So there we go. There's two brand new features in WooBuilder Blocks as well. The final thing I want to show you today is the ability now with WooBuilder Blocks to have a custom thank you page per product. So this is a great opportunity potentially for you to do upsells or you know build loyalty through your customers. Um, here's one example that I've built. This is actually using uh, another of our plugins on this page to bring in products that the customers have recently viewed as well. So you're actually presenting them products they've kind of been looking at. Um, but you can design that page any way you like. It's very simple in WooBuilder blocks. There's just an option in the uh, product panel here where you can choose any of your pages or you're more likely to have designed a brand new page just for that product where you can have a custom thank you page. So there's there's loads of ways that you might want to use that on your own sites, loads of examples I can probably think about. But all you do is build the page first and then select it there. And then once they place the order, that's the page that they'll get um, redirected to. So there we go. That's how to create a custom thank you page for WooCommerce now. Uh, so there we go, that's all the, the new improvements to WooBuilder Blocks. I hope you find those useful in customizing and creating ever better WooCommerce product pages. Um, in terms of the next developments for WooBuilder Blocks, we're, we're focusing on a few things. The first one is we're going to be building some more templates, pre-designed pre templates, using block patterns. So if, you, if you're unsure what block patterns are, I've done some other tutorials around block patterns, but we're going to create lots of designs basically that you can just import them easily using block patterns. The other big thing that we're looking at at the moment actively is full site editing. So full site editing is coming along really nicely now in WordPress. 
and we're going to make our Gutenberg Place um, plugins, especially our WooCommerce ones, play nicely with full site editing. And we're already working with um, one specific theme company to make that work. So that's really exciting as well. So there we go. That's that's what we've got um, with WooBuilder Blocks. I hope you find that useful, and I'll see you very soon.